Here's the question. I want to take a look. Next plan is in two. Balls. This gets more expensive with every passing turn. 20,000. Can I, like, turn these off? I guess I can turn off the dust per person. I'm not really using that, because the four movement on units seems like a good idea. Anyway. Empty construction queue. What do you want to do? Also dust refinery. Everybody dust refinery. Dust forever. Those are... What else do I want to do? Not much. I'll just let that go for the time being. So, that was the turn, right? Yeah. We're going to take me another city. Now, this one has seven defenders, but that's not a big deal. Let's see. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. And we found Sule. Not really sure what... The okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, now he's just offering us titanium. And that's worse than he was offering us earlier. So, let's actually pop in here. Let's burn these. Because I got them both. Make people a little bit happier. Next, take a look. Holy crap, I got a lot of stockpiles. In that case... Uh... What has the lowest population? Curvette. Mapal. I guess I'll just keep dumping food on them. Make them viable and stuff. Because it's not like I'm really using these that much, am I? Because I, I can't expand right now because my people are grumpy at me. And... more of a ball. Perfect. Okay, so let me think. So he's got plenty of units. That is... that... City has a lot of population. I want to take all these. Sidrej is going to be kind of fun too. Okay, so you guys, while well, you're here, retrofit. Yeah. Do we have any loose military units? The answer is well, we got some foragers. So I might as well start loading him up. Speaking of Ipidin, just keep dumping them out because they build fast regardless. Except we don't have a whole lot of that adamantium, do we? Probably see if I can gather any more of that. Do I really have a whole lot of my lands? The answer is no. I actually have the other stuff. I have a lot of the other stuff, so in that case, let's uh take a look at the foragers. Let's switch you around. Is this the one-handed axe? There we go. Range Slayer. Alright. So now we can make more of them. I'll probably cut down on my need a little bit. And turn. So. We should take Rashina probably within the next turn. I think he might attack me, though. It really depends on, like, what that three-man army is doing. I want to say up to no good, but at the same time, probably not. Okay, dismiss. Okay, so this time, movement on units. expensive, but I can probably take this off. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Because this way our army can move. Building bio, building bio. Unit cost reduction. Okay, this this looks good. Militarily for the time being. Oh, right. Yeah, you can, you can sacrifice city populations. In retrospect, that's suddenly actually really viable. Let me take a look at... I mean, the thing is, like, my cities are actually starting to get to the point where they're a little bit happier. Comparatively. Eopoli is actually pulling ahead. The other thing I could do that I haven't done yet is I don't have any more heroes uh, running. And I might as well look into some of these. There's probably one guy. That's good. Initiative. Nope. Because I don't need military. I want... I want, like industry leaders and stuff. Here we go. Oh, whoa, look at this guy. Alright, we're buying this dude. He's expensive, but boy is he worth it. Okay, so let's head over to Eopol... It was Eopoli, right? Yeah. Now you get yourselves Weira Tsigo. Who we can go in here. We've got some quest items, right? Sort of. So we want... Industry per, 
person. There we go. I have just enough for it. Good. Food. No, that's not useful. Don't care about defense bonuses. He's an administrator. Well, the freaking science man. Alright. So we'll just go with those. And now, no matter what Eupoli is doing, they will get a nice, a fairly nice bonus. Oh, does he level up to... He does... Okay, wow. He already has a couple of levels. Good to know. So let me think. Okay, some of these are actually pretty good. Yeah, wow. Did not actually realize, but elves are great industry leaders. Let's start going down this path for the time being. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Hey, Arjet. Har... Ajisto? Ajesto? 88? I don't even know. Welcome to the stream. Now, it looks like, yeah, this summer's been really good for us. He's already leveling up. Okay, good. So that means Eopoli is probably going to start just dumping Necro Drones. Yep, that's exactly what we need. Now, while we're here, we should probably also get that. Wow, that takes almost no time. And Grass Silk, which suddenly kind of have a, some amount of... Res where, 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 what? Oh, there we go. Some amount of regret for not actually properly dealing with some of these. Oh, I know what I need to do. Oh, whoa. One of you guys actually has, like, done units. Wish there's a way of see. There is a way of seeing. Anyone that has more than two is going to have one or two is going to have units in place. So Ipidin has some foragers. Speaking of, Probably just keep dumping them on this guy. We'll make one proliferator. All right. Ooh, yeah. Now, now the now we're talking. Because if I actually have four, if we actually have four units rolling around, mm, speed of sound and whatnot. So you might as well search the runes. Because we're trying to get him to level up. Oh, he did. In that case, no idle hands. And that should finish the quest. Oh no, level 2 of no idle hands, so that, that'll be next level. Well, how much experience does he have? Not much, but it's only going to take him a couple of turns, especially if he goes off to see some combat. In that case, inspect. Oh shoot, am I running out of money? I am sort of running out of money. I'm also quite wealthy, so there's that. Anyway, end turn, and keep going, because pretty much we're going to... Oh right, we want to take Regishina. And somebody just finished an Echo Drone. He probably did. Okay. Send you here. Ooh, wow, they move fast. They really do. Alright. So in this case, here's the question. Do we really want to... Just invade Rashina? Not... No. Yes. Actually, he's got two defenders, and those guys are looking pretty injured. So let's take it while all of his guys are super weak. And we get money. A lot of Battleborn. Really need to kind of get rid of some of these. <laughs> Otherwise, it costs us so much money. There we go. Yeah. We can ret retrofit this group for whatever. Oh, right. The for foragers. I forgot about that. All right. Regishina. Dust refinery. Dust depot. You are heavy on the dust. How much of a difference does that make? Not as much of one. Uh, it makes it fairly different. I'll mess around with it. Wait a minute. Can you offset your existence a little bit, though? It is expensive keeping that going. Anything else? I yeah, might as well get that going. Okay. So. I'm impressed that siege... Yeah, I, li I like the siege mechanics. Now that I'm, like, truly experiencing them. They're, they're cool. Like, this game does a lot of things very right. So now, now that we've got Regishina, here's the question. We could go, yeah, let's head up for Sad Sadrej. Might as well have every army in on it. Oh, did you not, you did not actually, what, why can't you move? Oh, because he just got some foragers, duh. All right, fine. So, we've finished a bunch of Necrodrones and a 
bunch of other stuff. Okay, what can you do? It's useful. Okay, so the army manual is good. It's probably not a bad idea to... Oh, you know what? I don't have the extractors for mithril, do I? Or mithrium? I don't even know what it's pronounced. Okay, so... Let's take a look at you. You know what? Might actually be worthwhile to actually expand one or two of these cities. Because I'm not exactly making the most use out of these guys. Hello, that's some pretty good stuff. Let's go this way. So, well, let's dump the necro drone. Loads of units. I don't want to select you. I want to select you. There we go. So now we've got an army of three Necro Drones run running in. That haven't been upgraded yet. Alright, fine. Spare no expense. Oh, we've got this like random ass proliferator that's just hanging out back here. Whoopsie. So in that case, let's just join you into this army. Wow, I forgot just how much of a difference it makes having that movement speed bonus. Like, 12 tiles one turn. It's pretty impressive. And pretty ridiculous it just as far as, like, getting around and wailing on people. Okay, so you've got two proliferators now. Probably gonna want to switch the army around, but, eh, whatever. Okay, can you start? Yeah, you can start sieging Sidrej. Which is gonna take a very long time. So you've got 10 out of 10. Now, does that give him experience? It doesn't. That's a shame. Oh. Hey, is this a temple rune right in the part of his city? Well, that's useful. Because, yeah, you get, a, you get a lot of experience for uh, sieging. From what I remember. So I might as well make the most out of it. What the? Nothing. And that's the end of that. All right, fine. He's got some units running away. He's probably trying to settle as much as possible before I take out his main capital. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Anyway, might as well have you come in too. Let's see what I want to do. With you. What city is this anyway? Karat. Oh, whoa, this is the new one I just built. Or, built. So in that case, uh... I guess advanced alchemy lab. I should probably start building some more burrow streets and actually expanding these things. So which one of these is going to give the most amount of industry? Probably that. Okay. Got a passive high. No, let's see. So you guys are sieging just fine. Supposedly. So my guys have to specifically be touching the edge of the city. Interesting. Didn't know that. Okay. Well, in that case, let's end turn. Never mind. Let's take a look at TNN. TNN could use some borough streets, actually. I really have been kind of lazy about this, haven't I? Oh, well, that's largely inexcusable. If I can surround the central city district make it up to level 2, that's probably for the best. Okay, so next up... You're already done with that forger, aren't you? Let's see. So in that case, do I still have you right there? Okay. Because I might as well load these up, and I'll probably pass units around come the next turn prior to getting attacked. Because I've got a bunch of, like, foragers on one army. That's probably not the most efficient thing in the world. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. So... Let's see. Come on. If I if I can eradicate blue, I will be happy. Unfortunately, it's taken forever. I'll just go with an army manual. Wow, those take forever to build. Oh, whoa. Soldaton. That would explain things. You know what? 
Let's, uh... Could automate, but it doesn't seem super useful. But at the same time... Can I, like, batch select? Aha, I can! But it doesn't overwrite what I already am doing. Okay, let's... Or, you know what, I've already selected. So let's... Let's uh, set them on auto for the time being. And then I will just have the high industry ones pump out units for us. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but you know, this is a fine time to see, seeing as we're in a really good, good position. So I've never really messed around with uh, governors in this game. It's probably a bad idea, but still. At this point more focused on just getting to and getting through everybody. And honestly, once we get to the cultists, things should be pretty easy. They're going to have a lot of buddies, but at the same time... Okay. So you've got a proliferator now. Plonk it on that army. we got a lot of necrodrones missing, but that's okay. It should be fine, especially with like just the sheer amount of army I have along the way. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I could actually refit some people along the way, too. Oh, that's not a high priority as it stands. So you need to... You... Need to siege. Can't do it. All right. End turn. Fine. Let's think. Oh, God. It's going to take forever for me to siege down this city. The elves are very prepared for me, apparently. I guess I could probably have uh, Karis run up. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right, so Chris did not level. Empty belly, who is almost completely worthless. All right, fine. Life on units. It's not a bad move. Next up, you. No, reset experience sounds good. Okay, so what I want to do. What I really want to do is finish conquering blue, but it's going to take forever. Well, let's reactivate these, make people, people a little bit on the happy side. We get some wine. Oh, here we go. People are going to be happy now. Let's go to uh, luxuries. Wine. Because I'm swimming in a fair amount of money, so I might as well just load up on it like crazy. Okay, so can't buy any more wine on the market, and the price has tripled. Okay, I'll just hold on to that for a while, and that should offset a lot of my expenses for at least a little while. Okay, apart from this. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Okay. So we need more units. Hello. I'm going to take a look at what those guys are, and it is winter. Looks like he's got a whole nother thing for me. What is he going He's going to declare war on purple and give you some dust water. Wow, you are not giving me anything worthwhile, are you? No, you aren't, good sir. I do not salute you. Okay, so in that case, we've got Sidrej coming. A fair amount of units. We've got... Let me think. Yeah, there, there we go. I knew I was missing something somewhere. Oh, and are you not sieging? You are not sieging. Okay, that explains things. We don't have any other idle militaries, but we do have... So, some more foragers. Okay, and good. They have extra movement. You got a Necro Drone. I wish there was a way of, like, dumping enemies from, uh, not dumping enemies, dumping units from, uh, garrisons? As far as I can tell, there isn't one. Probably exists, and I'm just missing it completely. Would not surprise me at all. Okay. TNN, nothing. 
obviously not varies. Okay. So. So Dredge will be weakened in two turns. Perfect. This is a lot faster. Okay, the vaulters are starting to get close. Empty research queue. Yellow. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, so what we don't want to do at this point is... Oh, right, the extractors. Do I not have them? I do. Do I just not? All right, that is... Oh, we need that. We need that heavy. Protection line? Duh. I don't even know how I don't have those. Okay, don't care about stockpiles. That's not a bad one. Food, food, de oh, yep, orchid. All right, so one more turn, and then we can take Sidrej. Perfect. And our army exp expands further. Yeah. Okay, let's just toss you guys onto this one, actually. So what we want to do is take this group of three. This group of three, dump them out. You, go over here, join him. Oh, not enough movement points. All right, that's fine. It'll cut my siege a little bit, but I don't really care. So you're back up to being a balanced team. You've got a lot of extra foragers, but that's not a bad idea against these guys. And I wonder if blue is actually attacking orange along the way. I don't even know. Okay, well, uh, you're, you're there, right? Attack, and he barely has anything. Look at my army. Alright, and nobody dies. We get a bunch of Battleborns. Sell that business. Yeah, each each extra unit is like thirty dust extra upkeep. Which is kinda nuts. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna I'm doing auto governor for a little a little while at least. Cannot believe that we're still not there yet. Okay, so we could do no idle hands. Siege mentality. Nope. Fast healer. Do we care? Nope. Let's just go with level 2, no idle hands. That should finish the quest. Okay. Riss has been adopted. His name will be Karis. Driven by some ultimate goal, he speaks of valuable resources needed for his experiments that are held in a secret place by the vaulters. The hero Karis, get these, and search unspoiled runes in the region called Karat, and we get the fungal laboratory. Huh. Wow. That's a lot of food. Let's switch him over to a... Don't even know. Alright. You... Wait, no, that's with forest. Damn it. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, interesting. You can switch... Uh, if you get enough in that first level, you can actually switch people around all over the place. Sorry, Loki. You did actually miss Catacomb Kids. It'll be going up on YouTube, though. Which is always nice. Anyway. Save... Uh, not save. Let's think. So in this case, Chris, you need to head down here. Oh, that's not very far at all. Next up, you guys are kind of injured, but we still have a blue territory over here. You're going to go north. You're going to keep going this way, because it seems like blue is last remaining. Ooh, Jamaj. Jamaj has actually been one of his for a little while. Yeah, before this episode is over, I want to get in here, and I want to take over. Uh, I want to take blue out of the game. That That is goal number one. Oh, hey. Where are you going? Stop that. So we've got this proliferator. 
Hello, close to expansion victory. 16 reaches, regions out of 31. That seems excessive, but still. Okay. They're all working on those. Uh, we get the water thing. We get town criers, which is super good dust-wise. Holy crap. Alright, fine. Next up, join that group together. Double proliferator, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, let's so go check out these runes. Okay, so... Uh, flavor hasn't changed. The enemy's been vanquished. Their precious material is taken. Most pleasingly, Karis shows utter loyalty and craves to begin work on the breeding chambers. Okay, so we get the fungal laboratory. So, peace, peace, peace. Can I get any peace? Every burr, every click, every scratch echoes through the hard tunnels, drills deep into my head. I need to think. To think is to see, is to plan to survive. But the noise, the noise distracts me from my task. Menials, get out. Ah, some peace, but a brittle one. Our acts have not gone unseen by the eyes of the hind legs. They grow bolder by the day. Sending out parties of fighters. They would be killed and feasted upon, but I fear for the day they organize themselves as well as we do. They will overwhelm us unless we have the numbers. Our attention must turn to a new chamber. Well, we... While we build it, we will be vulnerable. The hive will need to be protected. The enemy scattered from our lands. Then, then we can truly start swarming this world, Auriga. Riss has many ideas for how we might forge such a path. His mind is aflame, painting a blazing trail of contraptions, strategies, and unions. We might follow. Well, his mind burns, his body hardens and bends, becoming more like us with every cycle. I never speak of the thought, but he may be a, our future, a hybrid of hind legs and a hive dweller that marries the, their capacity to reason with our brute strength. Oh, their capacity to reason with our brute strength. He has become more than a mere broodling. He has become an example. We must learn our enemies' ways, watch them, find their weaknesses. But I get ahead of myself. Nothing will come without the brood mother's new chamber. So, assign him, assign him to Ovoru and uh, let him do whatever. All right. That means we need a new military leader. Oh, shoot. What are the... Oh... Okay, so that probably means we got invading armies and stuff. Well, first and foremost, Karis, assigned to city. Uh, why is... Oh, apparently Korra is under siege. All right. Okay, where's Ovoru? Too much. Too many cities. How is that one twitching? Don't even know. Okay, here's Avoru. Okay, so it's one of the obvious ones. So in the case, let's do the fungal laboratory and buy it. Why not? We got plenty of dough. Next up, Karat is being invaded. By who? It's a roaming army of marines and titans. Wait, what? Are these... Oh, these are Vultures. I've never actually run into the Vultures before. So, is this yellow attacking me? No, it's a roaming army of... I don't actually know. Alright, fine. We just get more Battleborn. Because money. So much money. So much... Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Sell the last one of those. This, like, if you can convert them over to foragers, mmm, that'd be great. But as it stands, not super useful. Okay. Let's see what I want to do. So, you're... Oh, right. I was about to take Jamosh. I don't think he gets any assistance. No, he doesn't. Alright. That does not end well for him. So now Jamosh is mine. Jamosh... Do whatever the hell you want. I don't even care at this point. Okay, so Blue's got a couple of armies. Where's the you? We're going north. I guess you might as well head north too. No reason why not to. Okay, which faction am I playing? I am playing as the Necrophage. Oh. Oh, he's losing Irsay. Whoops. Okay. So what do we want to do? Food? Probably. Let's go with like crazy food for the time being. Oh, hey, I can retrofit. 
like barely anything. All right, no, 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 no. You're going this way. Don't do that. Where is Karat is still being sieged? Yes, no, no. Karat is no longer being sieged. Okay, so retrofit because apparently you guys are weak. Okay. So, does that wipe blue from that? No. We got one turn before blue gets wiped from that. Perfect. So, it's a mercenary army that's bright yellow. Okay. That's good to know. That's real good to know. We got a bunch of empty construction queues. That's not the end of the world. Okay. So, for five turns, make sure there are no enemy armies in Overo. And a city garrison of six units. Six units minimum. I guess it makes sense. Well, kind of wishes a uh, person are personal armies. Okay, let's close out of this. Uh, Drarius, to answer your question, when giving me tips, yes, please. Do at Wanderbot. It's a lot easier on me. It is a lot easier on me. Okay. So they're doing that, they're doing that, they're doing that. Oh, right. We're gonna wipe blue from the map. Blue, I am coming for you. I mean, to some degree, I kind of want to see what happens when a uh, uh, neutral faction takes the city. At the same time, it's kind of boring. Probably going to want to take out these neutral faction cities as we go along. And spices. Ugh. Probably going to need more than... Oh, shoot. We are losing money aplenty. Who has too many units? You do. Who else has too many units? You do. See, this is where all my money's going. Neutrals just destroy the city. Well, never mind, I guess. Okay, so do we have anybody else? Where's all this money going? Hero upkeep, apparently. Oh, is it? I don't even know. All right, I don't really care. I got plenty of dust, so this isn't a problem. So let's, one more turn. Take blue out. Oh, and apparently we get uh, this. I can do better. That's better. I apparently have a lot of this stuff. Can't do that though. Okay, so I think can I afford. Can I take off? There we go. Okay, so that that'll cut my military upkeep by crate. By create no 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 no, you're going to Ovoru. I don't even know why I had them selected. Oh well, I I really do not like it that when you have a city selected you can right click, and deselect the city. But when you have units selected, right click moves them. It makes sense, but it's kind of dumb. Anyway, so he's just got his like half injured hero, who immediately gets murdered. Okay, we've just got some battle points. Yeah. Okay. So you're say balance. You go up here, you go here. Neither of them have actions. Okay. Oh, both hero and military upkeep goes up with their respective levels. So when they level up, that's why it gets so much more expensive. Alright, fine. Well, that's what the Empire plan is for. Okay. And Ursae will lose population next turn. Oh no, Ursae. I don't care about you in the slightest. So you know what we're going to do. Oh, wait, no, it's got a wine extractor. Damn it. Fine. Probably got a bunch of these anyway. Ursae. For all of the bodies that I've left behind. Let's actually go to Irsay for a second. Uh, name. No, population. There we go. Bribing the neutrals in my territory. Alright. Oh yeah. It's got Mithrite and wine. So we actually desperately need this. Okay, so can I bribe you? Nope. Can't, can't do anything of the sort because I have not researched that yet. And probably won't, honestly. Am I playing the Necrophages? The answer is yes. 
And we have wiped blue from the map. All right. So that that's one enemy down. Let's take these out. That gets that's a lot of battleborn. That is that's a lot of battleborn. Okay, that's that's less, but still. Let's sell these this business. Holy crap, that's... So many units. Okay, there we go. So now we are, like, hideously wealthy. And we've got one down, one to go. And blue is dead. So, on the next episode, we've got two things we can do. Go after orange, go after purple. I see no reason why not to do both. So, I will see you guys then. And as always... Thanks for watching, because I'm going to actually rest my voice and go to bed. This episode went on a little bit longer than usual, so it's probably going to be a two-parter, as always. Anyway, as I was saying, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.